What's your favorite scary movie? Listen to them. Children of the night. What music they make. I'm scared to close my eyes. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. You know, it's Halloween. I guess everyone's entitled to one good scare, huh? This is Carol Adieu. Young, beautiful, desirable. Men found her irresistible. But something is happening to her. Something that she doesn't quite understand. And soon she will be swept up in a frantic fury of repulsion. Hey folks, it's Jim from the Movie Rewind, and today I'm reviewing the film Repulsion, directed by Roman Polanski. Catherine Deneuve stars as Carol, a Belgian manicurist living with her sister Helen in a London flat. Simultaneously attracted and repulsed by sex, Carol is a virgin who finds her sister's relationship with a married man, Michael, extremely disturbing. When her sister and Michael leave for a holiday, Carol begins to disintegrate mentally, hallucinating bizarre encounters, being forced into taking a break from her job, and ultimately committing a pair of murders in her deranged state. Directed by Roman Polanski, Repulsion is a somewhat slow burn psychological horror film. It takes its time unwinding the character's mind. You see how she reacts to men such as Michael and Colin, a man interested in having her affections in the first hour. It isn't until the second hour when the film becomes darker, stranger, and more surreal with the character losing a grip on reality. The lines of reality and dreams are blurred with some fairly suggestive rape sequences and sexuality. It's the tale of a woman who is arguably a victim of the male world where males are portrayed as predators in the film looking for sex and money. Aside from Catherine Deneuve's performance as a fragile and shy woman, the film's strengths come from Polanski to make up for a somewhat thin story. The photography is eerie and detailed. The camera loves Catherine as do the men to the side looking at her as she walks by. His attention to sound is most impressive as silence can be a great way of building tension. When there's no score, other sounds come off amplified as flies hover around a dead rabbit that her sister never cooked or water dripping. There's other little interesting touches such as hands bursting through the walls harassing her. There are even several cracks through the walls representing her fractured mind. It also creates the concern of once again her only safety zone being destroyed. There is one particular sequence where she has a nightmare of being raped where the only sound is the ticking of a clock. If I had one gripe with this flick, it's that the film does move a bit slow within the first hour. It's a deliberate choice, I know, but the second half more than makes up for it. I give this film a 4 out of 5. That's it from the movie rewind. Have a great day, folks. Until next time.